Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about the excretion in human beings. So here I have shown you, it is the excretory system of human beings. Okay. So it includes a pair of kidneys, which is shown here. It is the left kidney and the it is the right kidney. Okay. So kidneys are located in kidneys are located in abdomen okay one on other side of the backbone one on other side of backbone and our excretory system also include a pair of uterus urethra and a urinary bladder also okay so urine produced in the kidneys the urine that is produced in kidneys passes through the ureters passes through the ureters into the urinary bladder into the urinary bladder where it is stored where it is stored until it is released through until it is released through urethra okay so means the urine that is produced in kidneys passes through the ureters which is shown which is the pipes here okay so the left it is the left ureter and it is the right ureter so it get accumulated here in the urinary bladder okay and where it is stored until it is released through the urethra so how is urine produced the purpose of making urine is to filter out the waste product okay from the blood just as CO2 is removed from the blood in the lungs, nitrogenous waste such as urea and or you can say uric acid are released, removed from the blood in the kidneys. It is then no surprise that the basic filtration unit in the kidneys like in the lungs is the cluster of very thin walled blood capillaries. So each capillary cluster in the kidney is associated with a cupped shaped end of a tube that collects the filtered urine. So each kidney has large number of these filtration units called nephrons. So they filtered out the blood from the urea or uric acid. Some substances in the initial filtrate such as glucose, amino acids and a major amount of water are selectively reabsorbed as the urine flows through the tube. The amount of water reabsorbed depends on how much excess water there is in the body. So how much of dissolved waste there is to be excreted. So the urine forming in each kidney eventually enters a long tube okay the ureter which connects the kidneys so these are the ureters which are connected to the urinary bladder and then through the urethra so the bladder is muscular and so it is under nervous control as a result we can usually control the urge to urinate so student this is all about how excretion in human beings takes place i hope that you are pretty clear about how does excretion in human beings takes place 
and with this our chapter ends and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this lecture then please do comment in the comment section student i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning